Good Wednesday evening, everybody, live and direct from House Onic Backyard under a bit of a drizzle. Hopefully not going to cause too much of any problems with the equipment, but just can't be taking that chance. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik on a fairly drizzly evening and fairly dismal for anything involving a uh, look outside at the stars for later on tonight. If you'd like to know more about that, stay tuned for information about what's coming up on, see if you can see it there, Skyblog 3. You know, a little bit too bright for there. That's, again, where we talk about astronomy. Uh, our astronomy blog, we'll be posting that here coming up in just a little while. A little bit of drizzle for this evening, and again, going to continue to see the possibility of some showers for tonight, so travelers may need yourself one of these things out there for the evening hours as it continues to be a little bit showery out across much of the area. No severe weather seen and none expected at this time, so looking pretty quiet into the rest of the afternoon and evening as travelers continue to come come and go across much of the continental United States. We'll take a look at how things are going out there, <clears throat> excuse me, when it comes to travel, and also take a look at weather forecast through the holiday tomorrow and into the holiday weekend coming up with some more shower activity possible into parts of the area there. Watching very carefully what's going on into parts of the rest of the world into and around uh, the area close to Japan. Another earthquake happened today, a 5.6 at about uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. The energy there did not make its way into the Mid-South, so definitely good news on that location. Another storm system making its way off the coast of the United States to the west. That could be a bit of a problem for us into the course of the next couple of days. We will be watching that uh, with a lot of interest as that gets a little bit closer to us. Beautiful view of conditions around Great Smoky National Park, around look rock but as of right now if you are planning on heading that direction there is a ban on all fires immediately across the park so if you are heading to great smokies or any place else this is again something else to uh, consider if you're heading out that direction and increased bear activity so i guess you could call that a bear watch instead of a bear warning that information direct from the uh, national park service so if you'd like to find out more information about that, find your favorite park and find it. go to on Twitter, hashtag findyourpark, and go to nps.gov for more information. Got a lot of clouds downtown and across much of the area, but we do have a little bit of clearing skies going on back beyond the horizon. So we are waiting to see whether or not we do get at least some clearing skies out there. But unfortunately, for tonight, a lot of travelers are going to be dealing with this, a lot of drizzle out there. And like was again seeing some wet roadways for much of the mid-south not too much different than a regular commute time tonight but there is still a decent amount of traffic out there as people get off for the holiday and head throughout wherever they may be going so for tonight again just prepare for a little bit of some extra activity out across parts of the area currently looking at again some ground stop programs in effect for areas around Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Chicago at O'Hare, thanks again to what's been going on with the weather out there. Also looking back to around Newark, New Jersey, wind is causing a problem, showing some delays for the Newark airport there. But beyond that, there's really not that much going on for the continental United States. You can find out more about what's happening at this time uh, by going to fly.faa.gov. Taking a look around the continental United States, again, this is a, a very active uh, day for travel as you can easily see uh, by what's going on across the continental United States as a lot of planes in motion uh, heading to and from various locations. So a lot going on uh, at this point in and around parts of the area. Much of what we're seeing again for the Mid-South area is again uh, moving along pretty well and no delays at Memphis International Airport being uh, reported at this time. So definitely good news there. Currently seeing again a couple of showers out there. If you'd like to see our interactive radar, all you have to do is go to WRAG com slash weather and click on the interactive radar button and from there you can check and see what's going on across the mid-south mainly what we're looking at right now is just light scattered showers moving through the metro and down into northern parts of mississippi Beyond that, we don't really have too much of anything going on at this time. Temperatures have been decently cool right about where they were yesterday. Numbers back into the lower 60s around Arlington, Memphis International Airport at the lower 60s as well, and also back in the upper 50s just outside of Shelby County and the Memphis metro area. Much of the rest of the Mid-South is again seeing some fairly chilly numbers out there. Not entirely sure where that 14 is coming from, uh, from North Little Rock, but a little bit chillier there. And temperatures even cooler back into the lower 
lower to mid 40s back into parts of the uh, area of southwest Missouri and portions of northeastern Arkansas. So if you're planning on traveling anywhere around the area, it looks like decently cool conditions will be existing across much of the mid-south and beyond throughout the course of the rest of the evening. The rainfall chances, what there have been of them, not that much left over and seeing again those stray showers continuing across the area this view from the penn state meteorology branch and showing again the current display of cloud cover and rainfall from earlier this morning although most of that has basically gone and is basically over with for now heading into tonight our storm system will be leaving the area clearing us out as we go into very early thanksgiving day morning so it might be a trifle muddy out there. New storm system coming in off the west coast and making its way off the Rockies. And even more activity will be expected after that. But for us, by Friday morning, that front will be approaching the area. The rainfall chances appear to be decently limited. So we will be watching again for chances of rainfall coming up Friday. But it just doesn't look like a lot heading our direction. And then as we get into Saturday, high pressure reasserts itself. And we have a couple of slowdowns, it looks like, from New England through the Great Lakes and rain chances from again New England down to around the Carolinas and the Virginias but that's going to be about it so as this next couple of storm systems come on through our chances for rainfall will occasionally be back with us but it will not be anything major taking place across much of the area heading into the next couple of days National Weather Service not seeing anything in the way of major problems no widespread hazardous weather and thanks to this rainfall we may even see a reduction in the chances of what may be a very active fire season going on through the next couple of days. For the rest of the day today into this evening, we'll be looking at low temperatures tonight in the mid to upper 40s with chances of showers and thunderstorms greatest in the eastern parts of the viewing area, leaving the mid-south and making their way away from us and could be some patchy fog into tomorrow thanks to all this cool temperatures and all of this very heavy amounts of moisture that we have not seen in quite some time. Now, temperatures by tomorrow morning early will be back in the mid-40s, and then heading into around dinner time, about the time the bird is served or whatever you're having on your table for tomorrow, should be great weather out there. Matter of fact, very clear skies, looking at a little bit more sunshine tomorrow, though clouds will be sticking around from east to west, a little bit clearing skies going on there, and high temperatures for Thanksgiving back in the upper 50s to around the lower 60s. Thanks Thanksgiving night, chilly, upper 30s to lower 40s, and less chance of anything involving major amounts of weather coming on through. Could be on the chilly side, though, Thursday night with lows again dropping into the upper 30s. Highs on Friday, heading up for shopping or better still, going out to a state park and getting some fresh air and trying to avoid all the crowds back in the lower to mid 60s very close to where we should be for this time of the year highs on saturday mid to upper 50s to lower 60s at best and then as we go towards saturday night into sunday high temperatures will be back again in the lower 60s but chances of rainfall might be back with us as we go into around sunday evening and those will be just basically showers Maybe a rumble of thunder toward Monday morning as the commute time rolls around, but it doesn't look like it's going to be anything severe. That'll be our next best chance of rainfall, and that could mean some slowdowns as you get back to work or school coming up on Monday. Wolf River could use your help. They're having a fun drive, and they could use your help to get the Wolf River cleaned up. Go to more of the Wolf River Conservancy by heading to wolfriver.org. Also coming up next week on Friday, at Christian Brothers University. If you'd like to know more about what is going on with the Memphis Astronomical Society, if you'd like to get involved with that hobby, or if you'd like to know more about how to buy a telescope, all you have to do is go to our Skyblog page uh, that we've just uploaded as of right now, and that's available at YouTube and on all my social media channels. But they're going to be having a special meeting about how to buy a telescope for the holidays coming up to, on Friday, December 2nd, 8 p.m., free meeting at Christian Brothers in a CC Hall in the Science uh, Lecture Hall. And again, that'll be a great opportunity to learn more. For more details, if you'd like to know more about the group, how to contact them, all kinds of stuff like that. All you have to do is go to memphisastro.org and find out more about what their next uh, meeting is going to be all about. And also you can contact uh, all the people in charge, including Bill Bussler, the president, and uh, Tom Richardson, my ham radio mentor, vice president of programs. Everybody's uh, there. And they also have observing sessions when the weather is very good. They also are published on Facebook. They have a Facebook group. And if you'd like to know more about that, head to my face Facebook page 
page at Austin Onik WREG, Facebook.com slash Austin Onik WREG. You can go to my Twitter page at Twitter.com slash Aonic underscore WREG3, and also to Aonic no underscore necessary WREG3 on Instagram if you'd like to find out more about what's going on there with weather, astronomy, science, all kinds of science headlines bouncing around the area for today. So a good opportunity to learn more there if you'd like to stop by and take a look around, especially with the Thanksgiving holiday and you don't have a lot to do, good opportunity to learn more where it comes to science and all kinds of neat stuff like weather and meteorology. The rain continues to fall here in the backyard, not exactly a deluge, but it has been decently on the soggy side today, and it looks like it's going to be decently cloudy into the rest of the night, so not good news for for astronomers for this evening but once again you may want to keep the umbrella handy just to be on the safe side for tonight good luck on travels let's all be careful out there keep it tuned to news channel 3 for updates as to what's going on throughout the mid-south and throughout the rest of the country as well i'll be on friday morning for news channel 3's todd demers so he can get some turkey and some time with his family and i'll also be on throughout the rest of the weekend so if you have any questions or concerns email me again at austin.onic at wrhe.com and we'll keep you updated as to what's happening throughout the Mid-South where the weather is concerned. From the News Channel 3 home office backyard, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, for Wednesday night and leading into the Thanksgiving holiday.